Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a keyboard shortcut for Microsoft Word. So if you don't know what a keyboard shortcut is, you probably have used them. So let's say you're in Word and I have my Microsoft document here. And let's say I want to make a copy of that on my keyboard. I would do Control C and then put my cursor where I wanted, Control V to paste. Those are keyboard shortcuts. So you can have keyboard shortcuts for all kinds of things. You know, like you know, a lot of people use Control P for print, Control A for select all. Alt tab to cycle between programs and so on. So what you could do if you want to check your keyboard shortcuts in Microsoft Word, you go to File, and go to Options, and then you want to go to the Customize Ribbon section. And down here where it says Keyboard Shortcuts, click on Customize. And this will kind of show you a breakdown of your categories and what keyboard shortcuts are already there. So like on the file tab, we could kind of just click here and scroll down with our arrow keys and look for something in the current keys box. So far, nothing for any of these. Like for open, there's some keyboard shortcuts. There's some keyboard shortcuts for, for save, control S, shift F12, alt, shift F2. And so let's say you want to make a new keyboard shortcut. So first, of course, you would have to find the command that you want to make the keyboard shortcut for. So if you don't know what category it is, you could scroll down to the bottom and do all commands, and that'll give you everything. And then you still kind of have to know what the keyboard, or actually the command is called to find it in this big list of stuff. So once you figure that out, so in my case, I'm going to go to the bottom and let's say I want a keyboard shortcut so where I can zoom my view to 100%. So let's say if I'm zoomed out real big or zoomed in um, and I want to get it back to 100% rather than having to use the, you know, the plus and minus down here, I could just press this keyboard shortcut and go right back to 100%. So as you can see, there's no current keyboard shortcut for this. So what, what you need to do is click in here where it says press new shortcut key and decide what keyboard shortcut keys you want to use. So in my case, I'm going to use alt comma just because you don't want to use something that's already in use by something else because it could overwrite it. So if I decided to make my zoom 100% um, control C, then next time I try and copy some text using control C, it's not going to work because it's going to do my new one, which is zoom 100% instead. So we don't want to do that. So, you know, another way you could do that too is when you're in Word, you could try out some random, you know, key combinations and see if they do anything, or you could Google it and see if there's a actual keyboard shortcut for the keys you want to use to make sure you don't overwrite anything. So I know that my alt comma is not used for anything, so I'm going to click in here, press alt comma, and it tells you what it's going to do. And then I just click on assign. Then it puts it in the current keys box. Click on close, click on OK. So now I'm back in Word here, I'm at 40%. So if I do my new keyboard shortcut, which is alt comma, Brings it up to 100%. I don't have to mess around with this. You know, if I'm up to 400%, alt comma brings it back to 100%. And now that's a quick way that I could uh, zoom back to 100% of my document. So, like I said, just go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, Keyboard Shortcuts, Customize, Find Your Command in the List. Like I said, you might want to just go down to All Commands to make it easier so that way you don't have to know what category it's in. Find your command. If there's no current keyboard shortcut, just type in a new one, assign it, and you're good to go. All right. Thanks for watching.